a fun do-it-yourself project to make your sprayer portable. Today I'm installing a 5 watt solar panel and a small charge controller. We purchased this yellow wagon many years ago to haul stuff around when we lived on our sailboat. It's been sitting around here on the farm doing nothing, so I thought it was time to put this yellow wagon to some good use. About this time last year, I purchased a 15 gallon tank sprayer from a local supply company. It was on sale and I happened to have an additional 10% off anything coupon. Score! And we picked up a small battery shortly after this. We had to pay the core charge because we didn't have an old battery to turn in. Ouch! We set it up in the wagon and I used our generator when needed to charge up the battery. This year we wanted to make it a bit more self-sufficient, so we just purchased this 5 watt solar panel from good old Amazon. I was planning to get just a solar panel and manually attach it and detach it as the battery needed to be charged. This panel was about $16 and shipping was going to be $7. So I decided to purchase a $9 small charge controller as it put me over the $25 free shipping limit. Score again. This way I can hook up everything and not worry about it. With a really small solar panel like 2 watts, you can hook it up to the battery and probably not worry about it. With this 5 watt or a larger panel without a charge controller, you do run the risk of overheating cooking your battery. The battery voltage is 12.18 volts, about 50% charged. Hey, not bad after sitting all winter. Let's get this wired together. I'm repurposing old extension cord for the wire, stripping the ends to expose the inside wire. On one end of the wire, the end we will be attaching to the battery, I'm crimping on two ring terminals. The two battery wires attach directly to the controller. Remember, positive and negative do matter. Next, we attach the two wires for the solar panel to the controller. Again, positive and negative are important. Now, we connect the repurposed extension cord to the battery. Being careful to connect positive and negative correctly. The lights on the controller show us everything is properly connected. Yay! and the voltage is now 12.79 volts. Our solar panel is definitely charging the battery. This solar panel, controller, and battery setup would work well with any 12 volt portable project. Let's put some water in the sprayer tank and see how our setup works. Oh snap! Sometimes things don't go as planned. I guess I didn't drain all the water out of the hose before winter like I thought I did. The handle is split. I guess I will be making a trip to the local supply store again to purchase a new spray wand. Important lesson, if I'd spent a bit more time last fall storing this properly, I wouldn't be wasting time and have this costly delay. Live life doing it yourself. <laughs>